Hello friends, today we are taking on a tour of three beautiful parade houses out in Copper Rock. In fact, the last, or one of our last favorite parade houses from last year is directly behind us. I will link the video to that home somewhere up here so you can check that out.
thoughts about this house. If I were to ask you on a scale of one to 10, where would you rate the outdoor space? The outdoor space? Yeah, like the indoor outdoor living. I, we haven't seen them all, so I don't know what to compare to, but I'd say that's at least a solid eight. Me personally, I think it's 10 out of 10. seen Michonne this excited about any bathrooms yet. So <laughs> it's got the Japanese soaking tub. It looks like a trough. How do you fill it up? With water. Where? How? Right there. Like there's the handles, but how does it fill up? It fills up from the ground? Yeah. And it fills up from the ground up and then goes down? Yeah, so that it doesn't disturb you with the loud noise of falling water. And look at that matching tile on the backsplash. I know. All the this way to the ceiling. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. It really fills up from there? If anybody knows how this Japanese soaking tub fills up with water, drop it in the comments below. Because I can't figure it out. It has a sophisticated silent system that does not disturb you as it fills up. Well, this is by far my favorite bathroom so far.
Okay, Michonne, tell us your thoughts on this bathroom. Well, I would love this for my house. And I'm loving how they incorporated it in with this backsplash. That's a very modern, cute mirror. Beautiful. I'm very happy with all the bathrooms. These bathrooms just make me happy. So on a scale of one to 10 on the bathrooms? We're on a solid 10. Solid 10. There's no Corvette. What are your thoughts on this house? Well, you guys know that I was obsessed with the bathrooms. Um, I thought it was kind of cool how you could lock out that casita back there. You could lock out the casita, office, that bathroom, the laundry room. Um, you could either rent it out. This area is zoned for vacation rentals, so you could Airbnb that part of the house, which is pretty cool. Guys, if you like what you see in this video, there are several lots that are still available out in Copper Rock. I don't know if you can see right now as we're driving, all of those new homes are coming up. And if you're thinking about building in Copper Rock, our contact information is in the description below this channel. Please give us a call. We do work with all of the builders that build in this amazing community and we'd be happy to give you some more info on what it would take to get started, what the current pricing for the lots and these builds is, and we could help you in, in any way.
It is a rep for Copper Rock and it is a rep for house number two. Michonne, what are your thoughts? So I thought house number two was very functional. It had two separate living spaces. So if you had several families that could stay top to bottom, it was super cute and modern. What did you think? I was a little distracted because it looks like it's snowing. I mean, I think it's hailing or oh, snowing or doing something weird. Like we got out just in time. <laughs> we got out just in time. Luckily, this is in Texas, so we're not expecting any crazy amounts of snow, but nonetheless, it does not look like we will be flying a drone today, and it's a shame because Copper Rock is such a beautiful neighborhood. I think that home was phenomenal because if you are thinking about buying a second home in Utah and perhaps you want for that property to make a little bit of income while you're not using it so it would pay for taxes, it would cover your utilities and overall just cover the expense of having a second home. This right here may be a great option because Copper Rock is currently zoned for vacation rentals. So a lot of these homes are designed in such a way so that they could accommodate for large parties. If you have, you know, either a large family or maybe, you know, a lot of people have family reunions in Utah and just have extended family and friends and other people that would come and vacation with them. Something like that may be a great option. The other scenario is if you decided to buy a second home in Copper Rock and perhaps have it pay for itself while you're not using it, it is also a great option. Of course, if you're even remotely considering moving to Southern Utah or buying an investment property or second home here and you have any questions at all, by now, if you've been following our channel, you should know exactly what to do. Our contact information is in the description below this video. Please feel free to call us, email us, text us, send us a Facebook message. Be sure to follow us on social media. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos as we're covering the entire Parade of Homes 2021. Until then.